What is all around you that you can't actually unsee? Everything you see, everything you feel, taste, everything you perceive, everything you know is made out of this. There's nowhere you can go that is not already this. There's nothing you can think that is not already this. You can't have more or less of this. This does not exclude anything that you take yourself to be. This does not exclude anything in the physical world or in the non-physical world. This cannot be hidden and thus it cannot be discovered. Without form, but not relegated to the world of formlessness. It is without effort, requiring no effort, avoiding no effort. Spontaneity is its nature. Although in this, in this knowing, even hesitation is spontaneity. Selflessness is its nature. And in the selflessness, even the experience of self can be accommodated smoothly, seamlessly, without effort or problem, without addition or subtraction. So nothing here needs to be fine-tuned. Nothing here needs to be relinquished. Nothing here needs to be get, gotten rid of or acquired. There's no distant place that is not already this. There's no undiscovered territory. The subtlest sounds in your experience right now are already included. These are not new to you. The subtlest sounds in the periphery the subtlest sounds at the center, so subtle that perhaps they're not even perceived by the mind. These sounds themselves, ancient, timeless, are as familiar to you as the tip of your nose, as your own name. The great blue sky, the clouds, the trees, the ground you walk on are as mundane and as sacred as anything. These are beyond all heavens and hells. These are primary to creation, primary to Genesis. The interpenetrating manifold dharmas you carry with you as every sensation that's perceived, no matter how subtle. Each of these sensations penetrates all times and places. Nothing's left out because there is no out and there is no in. There is no separation, and there's no need to end a separation. There's no duality, and there is no avoidance of duality. There's no negation, and there's also no need for affirmation. Affirmation and negation are one. One and the same. The front is the back and the back is the front. The inside is the outside and the outside is the inside. The bearded Bodhidharma has no beard. Where are you going to land your mind? What are you going to use as a foundation? Here there are no foundations and there's no need for foundation. No view holds, no view solidifies. 
No view can be discovered. No view can be clarified without a viewer. So the interpenetration of all points of view converge in no view. This is non-abiding, non-stagnation, non-fixation, freedom.